Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Last time we finished the uh, proof of the Krull's principal ideal theorem and even general generalized principal ideal theorem of Krull. Uh, today I want to give a second proof which will not use the dimension theorem. So in principle one could have learned this proof uh, much before. So uh, what we want to prove is if A is so, this is the theorem we want to prove if A is Noetherian. And P is a prime ideal in A. Then, uh, and P is minimal over P is minimal over ideal generated by n elements minimal means um, it does not contain uh, p contains a and in between there is no other prime ideal uh, then we want to prove that height of p is less equal to n n equal to 1 this this statement is called Krull's, Krull's principal ideal theorem and uh, arbitrary n it called generalized uh, principal ideal theorem but in the literature uh, people keep calling or writing uh, principal ideal theorem only so we are going to prove as usual by uh, so proof as in the uh, earlier case we may assume a is local and p is the maximum ideal of a and again i will prove by induction on an n proof by induction on n So, first let us take the case n equal to 1. Uh, we have an element A and this maximal ideal is minimal over this A. This is minimal over A. And we want to prove that to prove height of P is less equal to 1. This is what we want to prove. Alright, so uh, uh, this means this minimal means uh, uh, if I go mod A ideal generated by in this ring P is the only prime ideal. So, spec of A by A is just a singleton P by A because there is no minimal prime ideal in between, there is no prime ideal in between A and P, and this is uh, the maximum, maximal ideals of A by A. So, this first of all shows that this residue class ring A by ideal generated by A is an Artinian ring because it is an Ethereum and every prime ideal is maximal, therefore, it is Artinian. So, this ring A by A is Artinian. 
and I want to use this fact, uh, this Artinian fact to prove that now the height is less equal to 1. Okay. So, I will, we will transport, we will transport the Artinian property of this residue class ring to the localization. at small a, a suffix a. This means it is a localization of a at the multiplicative set generated by this a. s equal to 1 a etcetera a power n and so on. This is a multiplicative set generated by a and we take the localization. What I am saying is if this ring is Artinian, this localization is also Artinian. This is what we will prove first. So, uh, look at the uh, diagram, see we have two natural maps, A is uh, our given ring and from A to A modulo ideal generated by A, this is the residue map and to the localization also there is a natural map. This map is, no, this, this map is the natural inclusion map, this is I call it iota. This is any any b goes to b by 1. So, both these are ring homomorphisms and what we want to prove? We want to prove this ring is Artinian. That means what? We want to prove that if I take any descending chain, it should become stationary after some time. So, I we will have to analyze. Suppose I have two ideals in this ring A and B ideals in this ring with A contained in B, A contains B, this. So, first note that if A is contained in B, if I pull them back to A, this inclusion will still be valid, it is inclusion preserving map on the ideals. So, this will still be valid and if I go here, it will still be the same. So, therefore, what, what I am saying is if I take pi, no, if I take iota inverse of A and iota inverse of B and I apply pi to this, this and pi to this, this containment will be valid. Okay. And we know this ring is Artinian. So, when we would have taken a descending chain, after some, after a finite stage, it will become a stationary. So, I want to prove the same thing will happen here. It may happen before also, but certainly if equality holds here, then equality should hold here. You see, this is what I need to prove. This implication I need to prove. If equality holds here, then the equality should hold here. That will prove this ring is Artinian. Is that clear? Because if, when you take a descending uh, chain here, pull it, pull it back and push it to by pi, here it becomes station, stationary. So at that stage onwards, or even before that, it might become stationary. In in any case, this will prove that this is Artinian. So, we will start with the assumption now A and B two ideals in localization and if it equal happens here, then I will prove the equal, uh, equality holds here. So, therefore, suppose I have two ideals, B contained in A, contained in A localization at A such that pi, in, pi of iota inverse A equal to pi of iota inverse B. And from here, I want to prove 
b equal to a equal to b this is what we need to prove so so start with uh, start with an element so what i what i will prove i want to prove that um, this okay we we will see what what i will what i want to prove that actually they are equal so we will actually prove iota inverse of a equal to iota inverse of b if i prove this then you know localization the this uh, map behaves very well when you have a uh, ideal in a localization when you pull it back and push it back again to the localization you get back the equality so once i prove this that is enough that will imply then a will be equal to b so i want to prove that and obviously one is contained in the other this is this is obvious this is given to us so i will consider the quotient quotient module so we will consider v by iota inverse of a modulo iota inverse of b and we are in a local ring so i want to use nakayama lemma to conclude v is zero that is the plan is that clear okay so this is what i'll do so that means i want to prove actually i want to prove that v equal to pv v is finitely generated module that is clear because all these ideals and noetherian etc this is finitely generated p is the maximal ideal of the ring so if i prove v equal to pv that will imply v is zero and we will be done okay so uh, we want to prove this is zero so um, start with an element in the numerator here so x so let x belong to iota inverse of a so that means it is here pi of that is here pi of x is here so and this equality is given so that pi of x will be pi of somebody that means x and that somebody will will differ by kernel of pi which is the ideal generated by a so given x there exist y where y in this such that x and y they will differ by an uh, by an element of the kernel of pi but kernel of pi is the principal ideal generated by a so that means x minus y will be a multiple of a so this means it is uh, plus a times z for some z z in the ring a okay so um now uh, this implies um this is in x is in iota inverse a y is in iota inverse b but iota inverse b is contained in iota inverse of a so both are in x and y both are there so this will be there so a times z will also be in iota inverse of a but this a is a, a is a unit but since a is a unit in this localized ring that will imply z belongs to iota inverse of a because you can you can adjust by the unit so it belongs to iota inverse of a so what did we prove starting with x in iota inverse of a we proved that x belongs to that is y that is iota inverse b plus 
ideal generated by A that is this A and this Z iota inverse of A. See we proved that Z equal X equal to X plus AZ but this Y is in I inverse iota inverse B and this Z is in iota inverse A that is what we noted. So therefore X will belong to iota inverse B plus the ideal generated by A times iota inverse of A. But that will mean that that will mean that is the module this module V V is contained in when I go mod this. So every element X of this so when you read this mod iota inverse of B V is contained in ideal generated by A times V. And see this look at this and go mod iota inverse of B. So you this will disappear. So every element of iota inverse A mod iota inverse B will be a ideal generated by A times this mod iota inverse B. So this and this is obviously because A is a non unit this is contained in P V but this is contained in V. So all the time equality happens. So therefore we proved that V equal to PV and now use Nakayama lemma to say that V is 0 and then everything is done. So this proof is easy but tricky right okay. So we have proved um, that A is A localized at A is Artemian. So in particular Artemian so see note that it could be we have we have uh, I am not saying that this iota inverse of A is a non-zero ring. It could be zero ring also because we have no uh, evidence for that concluding it is zero. So to conclude it is non-zero, we need to check that uh, A is not nil potent. Okay. So in any case, we have checked that we proved A localized at A is Artinian. In particular, the dimension dimension of A localized at A is less equal to zero. If it is non-zero ring, then it will be dimension will be zero. If it is a zero ring, by definition of our dimension, it is minus one, and therefore this. So. But I want to rule out the possibility, I want to claim that dimension is actually 0. So note that dimension of A localized at A is actually 0 because, because let Q be a prime ideal in A. such that with Q is contained in P. So P is a prime ideal given prime ideal and uh, I am saying just let Q be a prime ideal which, which is contained in P, Q, maybe Q equal to P also but take such a prime ideal. But we know uh, because P is minimal over the ideal generated by A this contain this and this is minimal. So this Q cannot contain A. So A is not in Q. That means, so this means, so that is A, A localized Q is a localization of A localized A. Yes, yes. So we want to prove. Huh, so this will also follow on the way. So let us start with Q uh, uh, contained in P. So what which contains A then A cannot be in Q, right? What is your question? Yeah. 
yes uh, but that we want to prove that height of p is less equal to 1 right so suppose not so here we said so this will also follow this fact will also follow afterwards immediately after this so we want to prove so to prove height of p is less equal to 1 so let us assume the contrary that means there is a prime ideal q which is properly contained in q uh, p then a will not be in q and so when you localize that a means you are inverting the powers of a and when you are inverting at q means you are inverting all elements outside q that means you are inverting all powers of a and some more so that means this is a localization of a localized at small a but this is already non zero ring because it's a it's a localization at a prime ideal q so this is already non zero and therefore this cannot be zero and because it is the localization of the localization of this ring is non zero so the original ring cannot be zero so that will imply a localized at small a is non zero and the dimension of a by a is zero is that clear still i have not completed the contradiction to this uh, height p is uh, not not less equal to 1 we have assumed that we want to prove height of p is less equal to 1 so if there is a prime ideal which is properly contained in p then we have concluded that dimension of this a localized at a is zero but then the height of but then height of q will be zero because this is a localization of this ring and this ring has a dimension zero therefore this will also have a dimension zero no that means the height of this q is zero so what did we prove we proved that assuming that any we started with any prime ideal which is properly contained in p and check that this q has height zero so that will imply height of p is l is equal to 1 because we took any any prime ideal q which is properly contained in p so that this now proves the theorem for n equal to 1 and now we have to induct so note that i have not used dimension theorem here okay okay now uh, induction hypothesis so now general n now any n n is bigger equal to 1 arbitrary okay so uh, let i want to uh, induct so i have to create a situation where somebody some prime ideal is a minimal over ideal generated by n minus 1 elements and then conclude that the height of that is less equal to n minus 1 by induction hypothesis and and tie it up so let q be a prime ideal which is properly contained in p and no prime ideal in between with no prime ideal in between saturated uh, chain of uh, prime ideal okay so and we remember assumption that that p is minimal over ideal generated by a1 to an so obviously all these ais cannot be contained in q 
because otherwise p will not be minimal over that so then we may assume without loss that one of them is not in q let's renumber re them and call it a1 so a1 is not in q so look at now the ideal generated by this q and this a1 q plus a1 this is contained in p because q is contained in p a1 is contained in p and so this this p is minimal over this ideal because if there is a prime ideal in between that prime ideal will be in between q and p so this is p is p minimal over q plus a1 all right but you remember this p is the maximal ideal in a ring in a local ring and this maximal ideal is minimal over this so what will be the radical of this ideal so therefore radical of q plus a1 this is precisely the intersection of all prime ideals that it contains but there is only one prime ideal it contains namely p because if there is some other prime ideal then that p will not be minimal over this so this radical is precisely p but this radical is precisely p means that every element here is here so every element of this p some power of that belong to this ideal and all these ais are elements here so some power of ais will be in this ideal so that implies ai power some ri will belong to q plus ideal generated by a1 for every i 2 to n that means we can write this element ai power ri as some of these elements some of the element from q and some from this ideal so that will be of the form let me call here bi plus some multiple of this a1 that is ci a1 where bi belongs to q uh, ci belong to the ring and i should have said here ri is bigger equal to 1 integer all right so uh, when i shift now okay so therefore i say uh, if i look at the ideal generated by a1 a2 power r r2 and so on a n power rn this ideal and the ideal generated by a1 b1 b2 b2 bn these both these ideals are same so to check that you see here this this one this one for example it's if a1 is there b2 is there so therefore these two are equal ideals that clear see i want to check this equality and the other equality so i have to check all bi's are here but all bi's if i shift this to the other side all bi's are here similarly the other way so therefore this equality and and p p was minimal over a1 to an therefore p will be minimal over this also so p contain this and p this is p is minimal over this and therefore this is that okay you see p contain this and if there is a prime ideal in between 
they will contain that will contain a1 a2 a an because that is a prime ideal okay now once p is minimal over this i will go mod see the if i go mod then the so then p modulo ideal generated by b2 to bn this is minimal over ideal generated by a1 b1 bn modulo b2 to bn no don't b1 b2 b2 to bn no residue class ring uh, in the ring a by b2 ideal generated by b2 to bn this is a prime ideal this is an ideal and this is contained in this and it is also minimal over because if it is in between uh, you lift the prime ideal and then that will be in between so now uh, in this ring this is a principal ideal and this is a minimal prime over that ideal therefore by in, uh, by the case 1 height of this so n equal to 1 case height of p by b2 to bn is less equal to 1 but then now look at uh, this one contains all these the advantage is now these b's are in q the one we started with q as a prime ideal so remember q was chosen with this property q is contained in p and there is nobody in between this was q and then we have chosen these b is in q so therefore this contains p contains q modulo b2 to bn and in the residue class ring height of this prime ideal is less equal to 1 so therefore height of this and this also is not equal because if equal, equal here lift it it will be equal there also q equal to p then you see we are using fact again and again if you have a residue if i go to residue class ring then there is a inclusion preserving bijection between the ideals of the original ring which contain that the ideal modulo we are going and the residue class ring. this is what we are again and again using it and maximum ideal under that bijection maximal ideals will correspond to maximal ideal prime ideal will correspond to max, uh, prime ideal and containment will always be there so so if the height of p is less equal to 1 then height of q modulo b2 to bn this has to be zero but that will mean that will mean q is minimal over ideal generated by b2 to bn right the it has to be minimal or because if it is not minimal the height of this will not be zero it will be at least one if it is minimal or zero now induction now the case n minus 1 case that height of q will be less equal to n minus 1 by induction induction hypothesis therefore height of p will be less equal to n so that proves so this this completes the proof